right, Chain Dog, it's time for your teddy bear to meet my chainsaw of carnage! No! Leave him alone! Stop yelling, you're gonna wake up Grandma! Put down that goddamn chainsaw, you little shit. I bet you've never seen one goddamn day of pain in your life. Books are stupid and dumb. An essay by Mad Dog. <clears throat> Books are stupid and dumb, and they don't do anything unless you read them. Why would I want to read a fucking book when I can watch a goddamn movie? You know what a book is? It's just an instruction manual for a movie. It tells you what happens in the movie, but you don't get to fucking see it. What's the, what's the fucking deal with that? And now, live from the streets of Fairfax, it's the Mad Dog Show! Hey everybody, this is Mad Dog, and today I'm going to be doing commentary over a Ziggy the Bomb and the Dog Brothers classic music video. Alright, so that's me on the left, and that's my cousin J-Dog on the right. And as you can see, we're wearing these stupid-ass wings. We had to walk around town while we was filming this music video with those wings on, and they were heavy, and they were so fucking embarrassing, and people kept slowing down in their cars and calling us names that I can't repeat here because they were so horrible. All right, this guy here, this cow guy, little known fact, he's not actually a real cow guy. He's actually a homie Navin who used to live down the street wearing a cow costume. And he had a really hard time breathing. See that axe that I'm swinging around there? We borrowed that from my grandmother because we all lived with our, we all lived with our grandmother at the time because all of our parents were alcoholics. And I had to borrow the axe from her, and she had to watch us while we was filming. And she kept yelling at me while I was swinging the axe, like, "Be careful with that axe! You're gonna take someone's eye out, Mad Dog!" And I'd be like, "Grandma." See that house back there? Every time we used to walk by that house, it always smelled like fucking cheese. And the guy who lived in there was always staring out his window at us. It was really weird, and we would, like, wave at him and say hi or whatnot, and he just would just keep staring at us, and his house smelled like cheese. Did I mention that? Yeah, that house, like, how does a house smell like fucking cheese? It's fucking weird, man.